Earth system models simulate diverse physical processes and their interactions on our planet. With Destination Earth, the Earth system models at the heart of the digital twins will be used to perform simulations at high spatial resolutions, down to a few kilometers. The enhanced resolution brings accurate information at scales where the effects of extreme events and climate change are felt. Therefore, we need dedicated efforts to adapt and improve the representation of physical processes for these resolutions. Why is this necessary? Physical processes take place at a variety of scales. Let's take the example of heat and moisture exchange between the Earth's surface and the atmosphere. Imagine a grassland on a summer morning. The sun shines on the surface, heating up the Earth's surface rapidly. The air in contact with the surface heats up, and at the same time, plants transpire and release water vapor into the air. The warmer and moister air near the surface becomes lighter than the air above it and starts to rise, mixing with the air above it in a turbulent motion. Through this mixing, the temperature and moisture of the lower atmosphere gradually increase. These processes take place at scales of a few meters, considerably smaller than the spatial resolutions of today's weather prediction or even Destiny's future digital twins. Moreover, large-scale weather systems can carry the heat and the moisture away from its source. This means that there is an effect over long distances across the planet, with air streams of different temperature and humidity blending together. So, there are both small-scale and large-scale processes at work. To simulate the dynamics of the atmospheric air masses, we solve the so-called governing equations of atmospheric flow. Those equations describe how the winds, temperature and humidity will evolve in each model grid box. However, some small-scale processes are not captured at the resolution of the model, like the turbulent motion or small clouds. Those effects are accounted for in another set of equations, which are known as parametrizations of the small-scale physical processes. When we increase the resolution of simulations, like in Destiny, the way we represent these processes change. More processes become directly represented when solving the governing equations and less need to be parameterized. So, we need to recalibrate the Earth system models so that all processes remain correctly represented. At the land surface, things are a bit different. There, higher resolution means that the landscape becomes more heterogeneous. A city with a lot of concrete will not exchange heat and moisture in the same way as grassland. When we increase resolution, the differences between those environments become more important and we need to bring this information in the models. As a result, the Earth system models then predict that cities cool less than their surroundings during summer nights, an effect commonly known as the urban heat island. Like the land surface, ocean and sea ice are represented by additional models with corresponding equations. The coupling of the atmosphere, land, ocean and sea ice models allow for complex interactions and feedback loops between the different components of the Earth system. This helps us to understand how the elements of the Earth's surface interact with the atmosphere and vice versa. To conclude, improving the representation of small scales will contribute to achieving Destiny's mission, to better predict and help respond to our environmental challenges.